I'm Pastor Luther from Incarnation Lutheran Church, and this is To Start Your Day. Our reading for today comes to us from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, the 12th chapter, and I'm reading verses 1 through 11, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. What I want to talk about now is the various ways God's Spirit gets worked into our lives. This is complex and often misunderstood, but I want you to be informed and knowledgeable. Remember how you were when you didn't know God, led from one phony God to another, never knowing what you were doing, just doing it because everybody else did it? It's different in this life. God wants us to use our intelligence to seek to understand as well as we can. For instance, by using your heads, you know perfectly well that the Spirit of God would never prompt anyone to say, Jesus be damned. Nor would anyone be inclined to say, Jesus is master without the insight of the Holy Spirit. God's various gifts are handed out everywhere, but they all originate in God's Spirit. God's various ministries are carried out everywhere, but they all originate in God's Spirit. God's various expressions of power are in action everywhere, but God himself is behind it all. Each person is given something to do that shows who God is. Everyone gets in on it. Everyone benefits. All things are handed out by the Spirit and to all kinds of people. The variety is wonderful. Wise counsel. Clear understanding. Simple trust. Healing the sick. Miraculous acts. Proclamation. Distinguishing between spirits, tongues, interpretation of tongues. All these have a common origin, but are handed out one by one by, by the one Spirit of God. He, who, he decides who gets what and when. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, another wonderful day before us in which we might serve you. Help us to use the gifts that we've been given to serve you in the best possible way, without pride and arrogance because of the gifts we have, but making use of those gifts to your glory. Help us to do this so that the proclamation of your word becomes known to all people, a proclamation that needs to be heard, especially now. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.